Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man Battle Network. In the last part we continued on in this little signal panic we got going on here. And now we're going to continue on in these weird traffic areas. Uh, we're actually in the final one I believe too. Uh, yeah we are. I think. We should be. <laughs> Where am I? Who am I? I'm pretty much, there's actually four lights you have to turn red on this one, so this one's a bit longer, but it doesn't really matter overall. Okay, let's get the next one. Roger. However, because of that, all four sections to it are really short, and yeah. And right here we got 2400 zennies, so that is very useful. And speaking of which, uh, today is currently April 2nd. I'm not sure how many of you know about this, but I, someone, I forget who, I forget if it was Capcom or not, uh, but first off, uh, two more to go. Uh, someone, I forget if it was Capcom or not, but someone posted a picture of a quote-unquote in-production Mega Man X plastic model. I originally was believing it until I remembered, wait, today's April 1st, and once you know it, 14.1 million any price. And also to be released in 20XX. Uh, whoever did that, I sincerely hate you. <laughs> but I do want it to become an actual thing because I miss Mega Man. We haven't gotten a game for him in four years at this point. Four years! Uh, Mega Man, now! That was kind of pointless. And trapped. We did it! The bus stopped! I'm so sorry, but it seems you're a little late. What do you mean? The gas virus program has activated. You may have stopped the bus, but it's going to blow. Hee! Ignition in three seconds, two, one. Melo! Uh, it didn't explode. Huh? Color man, what's going on? I'm sorry, Miss Mad. There was this cute little Navi there. But don't worry, I'll delete her right away. See? Help! Roll, is that you? Melu? Melu, are you okay? I'm fine for now. But Roll's in trouble. Quick, jack in Mega Man. Hold on, I'm coming. And this bus is really finicky to jack into. <laughs> so uh, I skipped like two minutes of me just trying to jack in there. I was mashing my R button like nothing else. Roll, where are you? Ah. Uh, what are you doing, Darman? Oh, God! Now, now, I'll delete you soon enough. <laughs> but first, I'll watch you squirm a little. Help, help! Oh, dear Lord, man, stop that. There are kids watching. Hey, you, get away from Roll. Mega Man, delete this guy quick. Or else the bus will... Gotcha. So you're a color man, huh? Let Roll go. I'm the one you want. Sure thing. I'll delete you first and delete her later. Let's go. Battle routine set. Execute. I hate color man. Uh, first off, he has those little two red and blue guys in front of him. The red guy will shoot up in front of him a fire tower, and the blue one a water tower. And color man will do basically nothing in this first section of the fight. However, those towers can eat up attacks, so getting so hitting him can be rather annoying at times. Now, later on in the fight, he will start attacking himself, and by that I mean he'll send that little ball that he's standing on, because that, that's actually not his feet. You can actually see his feet uh, just to the right of his uh, right arm on his sprite, and have that ball bounce around like it's one of the puppy projectiles. And one really annoying thing about Color Man is that, while it hasn't happened to me, considering this is pretty much my first playthrough, actually, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I've done test stuff, but I never actually beat the game. Uh, he can actually kill you, even after you kill him, because uh, the water and fire towers can still be effe in effect. In fact, you'll notice that, unlike most bosses, when I kill him, I'll actually still be able to move around. 
In fact, I think that ball can kill you too, so uh, yeah, that's kind of annoying, Capcom. If I remember correctly, in the, in the manga, though, this guy barely got any screen time at all. <laughs> or, more like page time, actually. In fact, was he even in the manga? I can't remember. I think he was in, like, yeah, I don't, yeah, I think he was only in one scene, and that was a uh, freaking end of issue comic four panel thing. Huh. Him and Woodman, I know for a fact, never got used. Wow, that's kind of weird, actually. In the anime, though, uh, he's pointless. Although, one really funny thing is that Miss Mad is actually in the anime, in the, in the dub. They actually had to edit one scene of her because she was showing a bit too much cleavage. Oh, uh, censorship. We hate you and love you at the exact same time. But, anyway, Color Man, not that hard of a boss. The towers are the big annoyance here. Especially when they get in your way of the final shot. Ugh, that's annoying. Though I do love it when this happens. They just go right into your attack. And now you can see I can still move around there, so he could have still killed me. Are you okay? Ow. Uh, I think so. Thanks, Mega. Sure you don't have any errors? Yeah, I'm fine, really. But what about Melu? You better jack out. Right. Lan! Jeez, all the trouble I go through. Now, Lan, be nice. No, Lan's right. Thank you, Lan. H hey, what's with the big idea coming up so close like that? <laughs> oh, Lan, you're blushing. Sh shut up! I am not! <laughs> Well, now, let's go get Yai's presents. Come on, Lan, let's go. Now you're all happy and everything. What's going on? Well, it's a secret. Totally can't tell what's going on. He sure is dense. You sure are dense. Oh, great, even they're starting to do it. Hey, wait up! Please forgive me, sir. Fool, you have failed me again. Please. S -s Silence, no more excuses. Uh oh. C -c 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 Count Zap. Yes, Lord Wiley. Listen up, enough of these two bit schemes. Let's take this town down once and for all. C count Zap, I I'm counting on you, understood? I hear you and obey, Lord Wily. He just can't go away, can he? Many days pass since the traffic light incident until one afternoon. Man, I'm starving. I wonder what's for dinner tonight. Huh? But, Lan, you just ate lunch at school. Well, I can't just recharge once a day like you, Mega Man. Okay, okay. Hey, wait. We gotta get home. The Bond Bunch is about to start... Oh, that makes me bitter about Legends 3. Ugh. Lan, you've got mail. It's from your dad. Lan, how have you been? I'll be seeing you today. That is, you'll be coming to see me. There's a party tonight at the government complex. I'm inviting you and Mom to join me for dinner. Let's meet at 7 in front of the TV in the side lab lobby. Say hi to Mom for me and let her know about tonight. Alright, we get to see Dad! I'm gonna eat till I drop today. As if you were on a diet yesterday. Okay, Lan, let's go home and tell Mom. And you get three emails. Uh, obviously the one from Dad, one about... One from Freud, actually, which I'll get into momentarily. And this one... Well, actually, uh, Freud actually has something for us, so, uh, yeah. And it's something that you can actually only get this easily in this game. In the later games, getting this thing would actually be rather... Annoying. 
And they still don't know who we are. <laughs> if only they'd known how many times I've saved the world already in terms of how many of the games I've played. But before we go and see Mom, we actually... I, I could have done this after I see, saw Mom, actually. I technically did lost some time doing this. Uh, I'm going over to the government complex ahead of time in order to do some stuff here preemptively. First off, we want to go get what we can from Freud. Because, well, yeah. <laughs> we can, therefore we will. Anyway, Freud's in the exact same location that he was earlier, and he's going to actually give us something, which is a World 3 pin. Uh, pretty much, if you recall, uh, if one you were going throughout the network, you would have seen a couple of skull doors. The World 3 pin allows you to open them. Later games in the series, you have to do a specific side mission in order to do the, uh, in order to get it, rather. And also, at this point, you can talk to Freud and refight Iceman if you want to get Iceman's chip. I don't want to because I find it useless. However, in terms of fighting Navis, there is one more we can fight at this point. We got a new guy here who you might recognize from Battle Network 3. I'm gonna save because, from what I recall, he's actually kind of a painful one. I'm Mace the Fish Dealer! Eat lots of fish, it'll make you smarter. Let me show you. Let's net battle. Yeah, why not? Sharkman, rip him to shreds. Sharkman, from my battle here alone, I can tell is annoying. Uh, pretty much, he randomly goes into one of those three shark fins, and when, you'll know when you find, and you have to shoot your buster at him until you find the right one. When you first hit him, he will be momentarily stunned. Obviously, being in the same row will make the go at you. And when you do stun Sharkman, he will throw a Aqua Tower at you. And that's pretty much all he does. Really, the big annoyance of this fight is finding and getting to him. He has, uh, I think the most health of any boss we've seen so far at 700. Mind you, that's not that much lower than the final bosses, so yeah! Shockwaves are pretty effective against him, because uh, he will only stay stunned for a very short amount of time. And if you can get him in the front row, as I will later in the battle, the B-Sword program advance is also surprisingly effective. Uh, he does have high damage output, though, as comparison to the last bosses, so yeah, watch out for that. Also, I'm actually using Invis 2 again. Now, for me, having this in my folder, I barely use it. <laughs> I think it's just me pretty much thinking ahead of time in terms of planning, but I'm always just like, offense, offense, offense. Oh, this is also annoying when you have to try and aim it correctly. I somehow still hit him. I don't know how. Although I'm trying to remember, was was there a Shark Man in the original series? I don't think there was. Unless it was like in power battles or something. I think this actually might be the first original Navi. Uh, well, Color Man. Color Man is an original Navi and uh, original character, and as is Shark Man, I think. Ah, eh, oh well. Pretty much every other Navi in the game that was taken from previous Mega Man games. Anyway, B Sword's only effective against him, really, if you can get him in the front row, because then you can hit him with all six swords. Which, mind you, six times eight equals uh, 480 damage, which is actually better than Life Sword 1 was in 2 onwards. But still no Life Sword 2 or Life Sword 3. <laughs> but one thing that's kind of interesting is the fact that when you actually hit him with the uh, swords, they actually uh, he has no invincibility frames from it, so you can actually abuse that with a couple bosses. And it gets broken. Okay, okay, I give. Yep, I'm getting old, I am. Here, take this. Power up that Navi of yours. Now off with you and watch for sharks in the net. So yeah, you get an HP memory from that, and we can actually jack into his stand like we could have Sal up there in the corner. And in here you can get both Mace's address and a tri-spear. Uh, I should I probably mention now, the green mystery data that are ch battle chips in all the person's HPs. Home pages, desktops, whatever. Uh, you can actually only get them once, if, if it's still in your folder. If you get rid of it, you can get it again. I think. That's if my information is correct. Now, with that, I actually have to head back home because I forgot to talk to Mom. <laughs> also, well, one weird little thing. Sal, Mew, and Mesa all had really weird roles in the anime, where they were this weird team of justice that fought evil, uh, to the point where Mesa went under the name Captain Meat, I believe, which is kind of a weird name for a teenager to know. 
And it was just overall weird. Then again, the anime just got really weird at times. I'm looking at you. Weird knit com combination of three and four that was access. But with that, I'm going to need to end this off here. Thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And next time on Let's Play Mega Man Battle Network, we're going to be continuing on talking to Mom and going to that dinner to see Dad for the first time in this game. See you guys then.